Somebody has done their homework. This panel uses a bit of tweaking to outsmart the speed of light. Initially I was confused where to put this one. I mean it kind of works, only it's a tad misleading. Here is why. When people talk about the speed of light, they usually mean the speed of light in a vacuum, which is constant and pretty much unbeatable. Nothing is faster than light, but when light enters a transparent medium like say water or glass, its speed is divided by the refractive index of the medium which is always greater than 1. For example, water has an index of 1.33, therefore light in water travels at about 75% of its usual speed. So there is a way to go faster than light, but only if you slow it down first, because it is certainly possible for particles to travel through mediums faster than light travels in there. Think of it this way, fish can go way faster than humans in water, but on dry land, they have absolutely no chance. In this particular case, the panel is describing Cherenkov radiation, a phenomenon that occurs in the cooling pool of a nuclear reactor. This glowing blue light is produced when charged particles move through a medium, like water in this case, faster than light can travel in that medium. The characteristic blue color comes from the way light is emitted. Think of it as a visual version of a sonic boom. When a jet flies faster than sound, it makes a boom. Similarly, when subatomic particles zip through water faster than light, they generate a short intense electromagnetic shock wave, which is characterized by the color blue. Nothing can travel faster than light in a vacuum. Mediums like water for example could hinder light and render it slower. Thus some particles can indeed go faster than light in those mediums. But this doesn't break any physics law because nothing is going faster than light in a vacuum.